Uh, today I'm going to do an eye tutorial for color for women over 40 for those who want color I did one before with just neutrals for like my day look but this one I will be punching it up for a nighttime look so here we go okay the Stay first tuned. thing I'm going to do is I did my eyebrows like I did in my previous video but I'm going to clean them up and I'm I'm only going to do one half but I'm going to clean it up by putting uh, concealer over the top and the bottom and that is to define the eyebrows This not only defines the eyebrow, it helps you to, if you make any mistakes, you can correct it with the concealer. Now, make sure you blend out the concealer from the top and the bottom. Don't be afraid to use your fingers to help you in the process. Next I will be putting on eye primer and this helps you to set your eyeshadow onto your eye and to help the eyeshadow stand out. One who, you know, oh it has to be a certain type of brush. I use whatever I'm comfortable with, whatever works for me. So I just finished using the angle brush to do the highlighting or the concealing should I say around my eyebrows and I'm getting ready to use the same brush to apply the eye primer Um, I saw this. This is actually Kiss, if you can see. And in it, it has a palette of colors and it has eye primer already built in. So this is pretty convenient. I thought it was pretty cool. When I'm doing a nighttime look, I like to do the bottom as well because if you do the bottom and you put eyeliner or eyeshadow on the bottom it will adhere and stay without smudging and running this is important for women not only younger women but I found it important for women over 40 as I stated as our eyes start to sag and and if, if they get heavy and the skin starts to sag on our eye uh, the more that our eyeshadow eyeliners things can blend and run together so you need to make sure that those things are now set. to apply the eyeshadow the fun part this is another shadow palette I found at a store no particular store no particular brand um, again like I stated if I can get it open um, I just kind of buy what I like and this one is pretty cool so like I said it's no particular brand um, 
I saw these greens. I think I'm going to try some greens and some yellows. And then I have this yellow, which is kind of like um, a shimmery yellow. And I know I said to stay away from shimmer, but this is nighttime, so we're punching it up a little bit. You don't want to do it in the daytime because it will stand out at night. The lights are different, so it won't you won't be able to see every line wrinkle or crease. And this is by Bella Pierre. A gold base. And the reason why I'm starting with this gold base is because I have this yellow that I want to put over it. And it will help it stand out more. Now, for me, a blendable, I like to be able to blend. So I'm going to use just a little bit of this brown in right here. And that will be my blender. Not heavy, but just enough to blend. Just like that. And it doesn't have Next, to be neat. I will way. be using out of this palette. I'm going to be using this green. And as you can see, I'm patting it on because I want the color to be strong. Okay. And I took the color, patted it on, and kind of smoothed it out this way. I'm taking this darker color and applying it to the ends. So you can see I have three colors. I have the gold, the green, and a turquoise or teal. So I have three colors going here. No worries, I will be blending. Now, as I stated before, I wanted to show you again, this brush here, this tapered brush, is what I use to put on the shadow. Then I use this one to blend because it's fluffy. Okay, so as you see, I blend it, and where I had the dark brown at, let's blend it in. Now, for my highlight, I'm just highlighting with this color right here, using my tapered brush again. I'm using light strokes. I pat it on just a little bit and then filled it in more. Because I don't want it to be like one big swoop or swipe over underneath my eyebrows. I want it to be soft and subtle. Again, my technique in between colors is taking a paper towel and rubbing it on there to get the excess color off. If you have more than one brush, great. I don't. I mean, I do. I have a whole bunch of brushes, but I kind of favor certain brushes, and For so I keep using them over the and over. The yellow pigment that I have. 
Now if this was glitter, I would use something to set the glitter with, either uh, eyelash glue or a spray. But this one is actually an eyeshadow. And but it just is the it's very pigmented. So you need very little. When I say very little, I mean very little and you will see the result. So you really don't need it a lot. I think I'm going to go back in with my greens. And I even mixed it. And you can do this. I tap a little bit here and then a little bit here to mix it onto my brush. Just want a little bit more. So I can blend. I use my fleshy, br fluffy brush to whisk away any eyeshadow they may have dropped. Now, I will be now eyelining my eyes. Now, they do say as you get older, you should use, you know, browns, things that are not so harsh. But I think as, I think from 40 to maybe 55 or the late 50s, you can still get away with black. Um, it's still a personal preference. You, at 60 and above, you may want to go a lighter color from African American women, maybe like a, a brown. Um, because black becomes really harsh as we age and our skin begins to sag but I think as long as you have good genes and you're there are not too many wrinkles or sagging in, around your eyes stick with the black if you enjoy it and I love black so far I'm not giving it up Now I will be setting underneath with a black eyeshadow again. As we get older and our skin begins to sag or crease or wrinkle, um, winging it works for young people and it looks very sexy and cute. I used to do it a lot when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I don't do it as much. I do it a little bit, but I have to make it stand out so that it doesn't get caught up in the crease of my eye. So what I do is I take it and I come back to make it thicker so it's more visible. You see that? 
I'm just going to put some color here just below it on my brush to go over the green underneath. Okay, can you see that? 